one of the most important things about the framework is is that it it recognizes the importance of a whole variety of different forest types you've got productive woodland which might have quite a range of native and non-native species in it potentially and then you've got you've got really important areas like this one we're in Abernethy just now where we've got things like the very stunted bog pine trees and you know really you're right through to the big old granny pines which is so important for wildlife here in the Cairngorm some of the best examples of, of uh, montane woodland like uh, you know woolly willows and juniper and things like that and you know that's a really scarce resource today in, in the UK there's lots of it in Norway and Iceland and things but in the UK it's very very rare so one of the things the forest and woodland framework is really trying to promote is this montane woodland. The forests are an important thing to the area for a range of reasons. Not only um, are they productive in terms of producing timber for um, the uh, industry's construction use uh, and also for local use, but they're also imp important in terms of wildlife and the environment. The forestry framework really is a local uh, interpretation of what we work to in the forest industry as a whole in that uh, the state's forests are voluntarily certified under the UK Woodland Assurance Standard. Um, and they, that means that we work to certain standards of sustainability and um, working to the Forest Stewardship Council's principles and criteria. Uh, and the Forest and Woodland Framework helps us interpret that locally in the Strath. Being in the park um, certainly has an impact in the forests. Uh, it has, uh, brings in, uh, because of particularly in terms of the visitor uh, numbers, brings in uh, challenges within dealing with the range of visitors um, that, that approach the forest and try to work in cooperation with uh, our commercial operations. So we have to do quite a bit of planning to account for that um, because a lot of what the visitors come to see uh, is actually a result um, of the operations that we carry out in terms of the management of the woodlands. The Cairngorm that we have some wonderful examples of, of woodland, particularly the native woodland. And again, Abernethy is, is a very ancient woodland. Some of the trees here are 400 years old and we have a tremendous range of wildlife here. Uh, but Abernethy is not just important for wildlife, it's a, it's a cultural landscape. There's lots of uh, history attached to the site and of course the biodiversity is very important. We have uh, almost 5,000 species of animals and plants living here in the forest, so it's an extremely important environment. And of course lots of visitors come. We have probably in the region of 100,000 visitors come to enjoy the forest and its wildlife each year. It's, as you see here, it's a woody landscape and, and it's not just about the, 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 the ecological or the biodiversity that we have here. Look at the, the wonderful landscape quality and you can see the young forest and the old forest before us here. But people come to enjoy uh, the Cairngorms here, not just for the wildlife, but the landscape quality is, is outstanding and people come to enjoy a whole range of recreation or just a quiet, quiet walk uh, in the hillsides here. It's really quite an experience. Working with the National Park and all the other partners that, that are interested in these habitats and looking after them, it's the, 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 the natural resources in all their form. If we can look after them and you know, get the right balance between development and the natural resources, because people enjoy you know, coming to this area to live and to work and to recreate in this area because of all the resources. So we've got to make sure that we look after these resources you know, for ourselves, for our own well-being, but for generations to come. So a lot of the building blocks have been put in place for looking to the future and, and it's so important that we work with everybody, you know, that, you know there's, a, there's a huge range of different interests in the National Park, whether they be for conservation or for commercial interests or tourism, or, and we've got to work with each of, each of these, these interested groups. And so the, the first 10 years has been very much about building that and, and I think we've got a really strong foundation now for, for moving on with that.